Hi, I'm Ann Payne, Master Instructor here at the beautiful PGA Tour Academy at World Golf Village. Today I'm going to talk to you about the golf grip. You know, this reminds me of a scene from Forrest Gump. You know, we've got grip size, there's junior grips, ladies grips, undersized grips, standard grip, mid-size grip, and jumbo grips. There's materials. There's a rubber grip, a cord grip, a half cord grip, a composite grip, a leather grip, and a plastic grip. There's grip types, the Varden grip, the interlock grip, the overlap grip. There's a neutral grip, a strong grip, and a weak grip. Then there's the putter grip. There's the reverse overlap, the claw, the cross-handed grip, the palm grip, the pencil grip, the split-handed grip, and the arm lock grip. Wow, that's a lot to digest, isn't it? Here's what you need to know. Your connection with the club is very, very important, and your hands are gonna really influence how the face of the club comes into the ball. There is no one perfect grip for every single golfer. Rather, it needs to be customized to you based on your swing tendencies and your desired ball flight. But I'm gonna give you a few tips. For the full swing grip, we want the grip to sit at the base of the palm and the fingers with your heel pad on top and your thumb on the side. You're gonna come in with your trail hand underneath with your fingers roll and cover up that flat. For the putter grip, we actually want the putter running up right in between the palms and the lifeline so that your palms are facing each other. If you're having trouble with the starting direction of your golf ball, then give us a call here at the Academy and we will help you find the perfect grip for your needs. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you learned something here today. Don't forget for more tips, tricks, anything golf related, subscribe, like, or click the notification bell. I'll see you next time here on the Golf Experiences YouTube channel.